Ask Reddit by Joey.net. What's the dumbest myth people today believe? Lie detectors is a literal thing. There's a reason they aren't admissible as evidence in court in most places. So are they basically anxiety measurers? I get really anxious if I get accused of something, but only if I didn't do it. If you drop a penny off a skyscraper, it will eventually fall fast enough to puncture someone's skull. By that logic, raindrops would hurt like a bitch or straight up kill you. Not to mention hail. I've met people who think terminal velocity is the speed at which point an object can kill you. My dad had this guy helping him out, think big box store DIY curb ready helper, who told him if you sleep with your hair wet, you will bleed out of your mouth, and he was 110% sure that was fact. We were both just confused and bewildered at this statement. What the hell had this guy witnessed? Completely unrelated, but I had somebody tell me that it was really windy the other day, because there was a BTL that passed close to earth. There are dumber ones out there, but the one I, as an estate lawyer, deal with constantly is the idea that there needs to be a reading of the will, where the family all gather and the lawyer reads it aloud to them for the first time. We don't do that, we just mail everyone their own copy if they want it. It's a really stubbornly persistent one because people continue to see scenes of it in movies and TV shows, where it's used for some big dramatic reveal. I've even had irate beneficiaries insist that the administration of the estate can't be official until there's a reading. Way, way back, like 150 years ago or so, I believe we used to do something like that at times because you couldn't exactly presume literacy on the part of the beneficiaries, but now we feel it's a pretty safe bet that you can either read it or find someone who can. Disappointed there won't be a dramatic videotaped reading where Gramps confirms most of his estate will be left to his cat and his ungrateful heirs won't receive a penny. Black belts have to register their fists as weapons. I can't believe I was dumb enough to fall for that. If you walk around with your hands in your pockets, do they become concealed weapons? You're in therapy. Just why? You're in therapy. Heck we are all in therapy these days. Thank you and good night. Tear here to open. I live in fear of tearing a check in half every time I have to fold that crease then tear. Detox drinks. Used to work somewhere that's old juice cleanses. 1. Your body does not need something to cleanse its liver and kidneys like that. Your liver and kidneys are the cleansers. If anything you're just giving them a break by laying off alcohol and cheeseburgers. 2. You only feel better cause for a couple days you're actually getting some vitamins into your system for once and aren't eating steaming piles of shit at every meal. It's not the presence of the juice, it's the absence of the other shit. 3. The fruit juices portion are just sugary and tasty. Of course they feel good that you eat spiders in your sleep. Spider will not knowingly walk into a predator's mouth. They can sense both the heartbeat, heat and noise from humans. All things that would alert them not to go into our mouth. I kinda needs this to be true. I blame my weight on the copious amounts of spiders I'm ingesting every night. I remember the myth that gum takes 7 years to fully pass through your digestive system. That takes me back to being 5 years old again. I think that was just a mom tactic to keep you from constantly swallowing your gum. When I had cancer a few years back and was doing chemotherapy I had people who constantly questioned that I actually had cancer due to the fact that my hair didn't fall out until I was actually in remission. Had been off chemo for about 2-3 weeks when my hair started gradually thinning and falling out. It's a complete myth that every single person's hair will have the same reaction to chemo. Some people lose hair right away, some don't. Everybody is different. There were people who accused my wife of lying about her lymphoma because she didn't look sick. 
Not sure if this fits here exactly, but the McDonald's hot coffee lawsuit being a frivolous case filed by a money hungry customer. That poor lady was a real victim who suffered legitimate injuries who only wanted her medical costs covered. I would never call that a myth. I would call that a hatchet job, conspiracy, plot, media manipulation, character assassination, whatever you want. But you're correct, that poor lady was done so so dirty by McDonald's after the lawsuit. That people's hands are eventually gonna be useless if they keep cracking their knuckles. That Einstein failed his grade school math class. It was the subject of a Ripley's Believe It or Not column in 1935 and Einstein himself refuted the article. In primary school he had been at the top of class and by 15 he had mastered differential and integral calculus. If I recall correctly it had to do with him moving between schools and one graded students from 1-6 and the other graded in the reverse, from 6-1. So someone at some point mixed something up and thought Einstein failed class even though in reality he had a perfect grade. Drug dealers will give you free drugs to get you hooked. Still waiting for this and I'm 59. Headlights off at night is a gangbanger initiation right. So, don't flash your lights at them. I read this as people driving around looking for gangbangs. At some point, a viral video allegedly proved that the beg buttons at crosswalks are just placebos. Some of them are, but most of them really do add a cycle for pedestrians to get a walk signal. You should use them regardless. In Nick they are placebos, the lights are either controlled by simple timing logic or by dot to limit traffic congestion. Out in the suburbs, they actually work. There are a few lights around where I live that will not turn green unless there is a vehicle present. They use a sensor to detect when a vehicle is waiting. My motorcycle does not trigger the sensor. So I hop off and press the crosswalk button and hop back on. It triggers a green light. That magnetic jewel healing will cure just about anything. A dude named Mesmer the 1780 came up with the idea, and it have been debunked many times yet it's still a billion dollar industry. Fun fact the word mesmerized is related to him. I've got to constantly tell people that my cool magnetic bracelet isn't for healing or anything. I'm a semstress, and it holds my pins, but that always gets forgotten about because, did you know those can align your spiritual energies like? Aligning my pins and needles isn't cool enough. There are still people who believe that having sex in certain positions or eating certain foods can influence the sex of your unborn child or impact whether you have twins multiples. Look if Sims has taught me anything it's that carrots and all music get you a boy, strawberries and pop music gets you a girl. Pregnancy lasts 3 days, labor takes hours and babies spawn their own bassinets. That shaving makes your hair grow back thicker. My 37 year old partner still believes this and it does my nut in. My mom laid this on me thick when I started asking her if I could shave my legs. She made me think that once you shave, you can't go back to not shaving or you'll turn into Sasquatch. This was the 90s with information readily available. WTF made her think that is beyond me. Jokes on you, mom. I don't shave from November to April every year and my leg hair is the least weird thing about me. Thank you. That humans only use 10% of their brain. This is false. Regardless of how those who proclaim this myth seemingly demonstrate that it is in fact true. I had a health teacher in school who told us once it's probably okay to actually drink during pregnancy because chances are the brain damage will happen to the 90% of the brain humans don't use, so it won't have any effect on the baby. He proved this by talking about some woman he knew who drank during pregnancy and one of her sons is a student and he gifted program and the other one is an idiot. The gifted student got lucky and got brain damage to the anus 90%. Just, WTF. Life is fair, and bad things only happen to people who deserve it. Some of the shittiest people sleep like fucking babies at night, and it's really frustrating. 
It seems like the most humble, thoughtful people are the ones with insomnia and being kept up at night worrying about things in my experience. And, annoyingly, it seems like narcissists in particular sleep very well at night. They are such headaches of people to deal with. Had a cab driver insisting that the reactor meltdown at Fukushima was a failed Chinese attack on the US. The plan was to superheat the rods so they'd burn into the ground, through the center of the earth, and come out in America and irradiate it. Amazing. There's a lot to unpack in that, but the one that stands out is if it sinks to the center of the earth. How the hell is it going to sync up with again? Oh, I don't want to raise make more money, because then I'll lose more money to taxes and take home less. You only get taxed on the money that's made above your current bracket. It's literally impossible to make more money and take home less. My tax law professor's response to this was okay, fine, give me the money and I'll pay the taxes on it. Many people still believe hymens are like plastic food seals that cover up the hole and get popped when you have sex for the first time, and if a girl doesn't bleed she's not a virgin. Yeah, it's a dumb one. It's just a thin piece of tissue. It can tear from things that aren't sex, and can heal as well, and some women just never had one. So you can have a woman who's a virgin whose hymen has been torn and a woman who's taken a break from having almost daily sex whose hymen is entirely intact. Halloween candy is commonly laced with drugs or razor blades. No one and I mean no one is giving their drugs to your 8 year old for free. I still believe that if any of my limbs hang off the bed while sleeping that a monster will grab them. I also believe that the moment I remember this and pull them back on the bed is just in the nick of time before a monster grabs them. You can't prove there isn't a monster under my bed. I think you've misinterpreted the OP. What you listed is just a fact. Had to explain to a grown ass adult that blood isn't blue inside the body and red once it hits oxygen because blood already carries oxygen. Eater. I didn't expect this to take off. I first commented when the post was brand new and only had 30 comments. I understand that I came off as a snarky asshole about it, but the dude and I were cool after 10 minutes of convincing him that what he was taught was a myth. No hurt feelings, but... Red blood is iron based. Blue blood is copper based. Offhand, the only organism I can think of with blue blood is a horseshoe crab. That black cats are evil. Yes people do still think this. It's why they are not allowed to be adopted around Halloween. Because people will get them just to abuse them. I have an old black cat. He's giant and has incredibly long fangs that hang out of his mouth. He's the gentlest, cuddliest, 